Hi everyone, my name is Shun Hayashi. So about six years ago, I was suffering from depression and I was thinking that my life was over. However, I now live in Australia and I'm working for an Australian company after completing my postgraduate degree here in Australia. So today, since I've never made a video about myself and I told in my past videos that I was going to upload my proper introduction video, I'll be talking about my life story in this video. So please stay tuned to the end and let's get into it. I was born in Shizuoka Prefecture, Japan in 1992 and had lived in Japan up to the 24 years old. And believe it or not, I had blonde hair when I was little. Anyway, I started playing soccer when I was in kindergarten and I played it till high school and I really really loved it. Since I loved coaching soccer for my brothers and younger friends and I knew that becoming a professional soccer player was not realistic to me, I was thinking of becoming a high school teacher to be a soccer coach in a soccer club. To be honest, I was not interested in teaching any subject at all, but I just wanted to be related to soccer on a daily basis for the rest of my life. As mentioned, I was not going to soccer as much as I could become a professional soccer player or anything, but I just wanted to keep playing it till university before I became a working adult. However, I started to have small heart-related issues when I was a senior in high school, and that made it impossible for me to keep playing it in university. Because of that, I had nothing special that I could truly passionate about after my uni life started. Since I could not play soccer in university, my passion for soccer had been fading off and I could not find alternatives that I could truly passionate about. And this was the time when I started to compare myself with others and started to think others were doing what they like to do but I didn't and started to worry about the uncertainty of my future career choices as time went by, especially Japan has a sugar season which is a job hunting activity season when everyone is working on the job hunting at the same time. So the story moves on my second year of university. One day, my close family friends asked me to go to Italy together for sightseeing during a spring break. I was at first not willing to go there because I was not interested in overseas at all, but in the end I decided to go there since my mom pushed me to go there for experiencing something new. And this trip changed my life and gave me the general direction of my future. So in Italy, I experienced communicating with others in English, different cultures and you know Italy is completely different from Japan in many ways so the whole experience that I had in the country was completely unreal and fresh to me. Through the trip I got a strong desire of being able to communicate with others in English as much as I do with others in Japanese and learning different cultures and to expand my horizons and future opportunities. After I came back to Japan from Italy I started studying English and decided to go to a language school in Canada for three weeks during the summer break in my junior year of university. However, even though I found my new interest out of the trip in Italy, I started having a sleeping disorder and constant anxiety because of the uncertainty of my future, including my future career choices and because of the stress coming from my heart problems and so forth. Then I went to Canada for study abroad. After returning from study abroad in Canada, the level of my anxiety increased and I still had sleeping disorder. And after three months from my return, I became severely depressed and I became a recluse, which means hikikomori in Japanese. And I had completely shut myself in the room in my house for three months. I clearly remember the moment when I literally could not move my body from my bed when my mom and grandma asked me to go shopping for a change. I desperately wanted to hang in there because it was very scary for me to stop taking action. And I believed that I could eventually get over this mental state if I kept pushing myself to be active but my mind and body did not much at all so I became a recluse. Fortunately, I could recover from my depression and started to have hope for my future. Because during these three months, I had a chance to truly appreciate and realize the support from my family and friends that I took for granted since it's been always there since I was born. So I've not understood how grateful it was to always have support from them. Because of this awareness, I realized that it was not worth worried at all about the things that I worried about before. And this awareness and appreciation were the reasons why I could recover from my depression and stop unnecessarily comparing myself with others and started to focus on living my own life again. After the recovery from my depression, I went to my professor's office in university to discuss my future plans. While I had an idea to go overseas again to build up my English skills, to eventually be a school teacher teaching English in Japan, he told me that it should be a great idea for me to earn a graduate degree overseas for my future career. And I was like, that sounds super challenging and exciting at the same time. And I could see more than a lot of benefits for myself by doing so. Thus, I decided to go to Australia for my postgraduate study. Since then, I started studying TOEFL IBT and tried very hard to improve my grades at uni because my grades were very, very poor at the time. 
Fortunately, I was accepted by the University of Queensland, which is one of the top universities in Australia, and I got a ticket uh, to complete a master's degree of applied linguistics in Kiso studies at UQ. Okay, so let's go to UQ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of you guys might think that why I chose Australia to complete my degree? That was because Australia allows international students to work while studying and offers the visa to work as a full time after completing a two year master's program. After I got accepted by the University of Queensland, I still had time before coming to Australia to start my degree. So I worked as an English teacher at a cram school where I'd been working since before as a part time and did some side jobs to save up some money for my life in Australia. Then I came to Australia in 2016 when I was 24 years old and completed my degree in 2018. After my graduation, I came back to Japan and got married with my girlfriend and returned back to Australia to find a full-time job. Fortunately, I've got a job offer from the company that I really, really wanted to work for in the education industry. Since then, I've been in a sales and marketing role in the company and I've been also teaching English as a freelance English teacher. When it comes to my English skills, my English was a zero level until my trip to Italy. But I've achieved a level that makes it possible for me to complete a master's degree overseas and to work for an Australian company. So I know that everyone has a chance to be good at English. My video contents are mainly coming from my knowledge and experience around studying English and working overseas. And I'm pretty sure that I can provide value to people who are interested in this topic. So it'd be great if you could consider to subscribe to my channel. Alright, that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching and I see you in my next video. See you soon.